Good evening, gentlemen. Another video. I know, well overdue. Well, actually, I just uploaded another one, so that doesn't matter. But let's go on it. This is my car 4 and Tatonka build, or I call it the SMG build because I normally use the SMG a lot more, but a lot of people want to see the video about it. So here we go. Let's go over the skills. Let's go over the perk deck, weapons, and then we should be uh, at the end of the video. Let's get started. Right, skills. As usual with me, we're going to jump all the way up to Inspire. I'm not even going to explain it anymore because I've done that now many, many times. In Enforcer, we go for basic underdog. So when three or more enemies within 80 meters are targeting you, you receive a 50% damage bonus. Well, that damage bonus will be always be there because most of the times there's more than three enemies around you. Then I got Ace Resilience because, well, I hate flashbangs. And we got Basic Scavenger, because this build will use a lot of ammo. In Technician, we got Steady Grip Aced, so we get 16 weapon stability and 8 weapon accuracy. Then we jump all the way up to Surefire. This is where our damage comes from. Your SMGs, LMGs and Assault Rifles gain 15 more bullets in the magazine. Always good. 15 bullets means, you know, I can shoot a bit more. And then what? when you hit Ace, it says your ranged weapons now can pierce through enemy armor. Good for doses. Then we'll have the lock and load basic. You can now hip fire with weapons while sprinting. Always nice. I run a lot, so that works for me. And then body expertise, and this is where the fun part starts. 90% from the bonus headshot damage is permanently applied to hitting enemies on the body. This skill is only activated by SMGs, LMGs, and also rifles or special weapons fired in automatic fire mode. We are using the SMG as a secondary and an assault rifle as the primary. So that is our damage. So you don't have to go for the headshots, you can just go for the body shots and you get 90% from the bonus headshot damage anyways. I'd say still try and go for the headshot because that's 100% of course. Then we go to Ghost, we got Dock and Cover Aced as usual, Parkour Basic as usual, then the same as normal, Second Wind Basic, Optical Illusion Aced, Professional Basic, Specialized Killing, 30% more damage with silent weapons, both weapons are silenced. And instead, we now have Low Blow Aced. Normally, you'll see me playing with Low Blow Basic. But our uh, detection is this high, that we actually needed Aced. So to get the 30% crit chance, we needed Aced. Then we go to Fugitive. Then we have Nine Lives Aced. Swan Song Aced. We go up Martial Arts Basic. Blood Thirst Basic. And then we go for Friends... Uh, for Berser not Frenzy, it's Berserker. For Berserker Aced, which will give us 100% more damage with our ranged weapons when we are below 50% of our health. We are pretty much always below 50% of our health. You're pretty much about 25 to 10%. Those are the skills that make the perk work. Right, let's go to the perk deck, which is Anarchist. What Anarchist does is when your armies get depleted, you will be immune to health damage for 2 seconds. This cannot occur more often than 15 seconds at a time. Which means, when you lose your armor, aka the white little circle around your health, you will be immune to anything for two seconds. When those two seconds are over, your health will deplete really, really quickly. And I mean really quickly. If you play on Deathwish or on One Down, believe me, without a suit, without dodge, your health is going to go. The rest of what it does, it actually gets your health and it will put it all into more armor like 50% of your health is converted into 120% armor even though that we wear a suit it still counts as armor that little white circle is armor right on to the weapons the weapons we're going to use the primary is going to be the car 4 rifle good damage good damage output but what we're going to pull on you need some achievements for it and probably a lot of other stuff so let's go on what we got on here for the barrel, we're going to go for the DMR kit. This will lower the ammo count, but the damage goes up with 120, which is a lot, which you're going to need in Death Wish and one down. Barrel extension, we're going to go for the bigger, the better suppressor. Boost, we're going to go for concealment to bring it down a slight bit. Custom, very necessary, auto fire. If you saw the skill that we have, sure fire, they need auto fire, so always equip auto fire. For the foregrip, we're going to go for the DEMO foregrip, or the EMO foregrip, however you want to say it. Then we go for the gadget, we're going to go for the compact laser module. For the grip, we're going for the rubber grip. 
lower receiver, we're taking the thrust lower receiver. For the magazine, we take the speedball magazine. It takes 1.7, so your reload time goes to 1.7. Always nice, faster reload. We can go for a sight, and the sight we use at the moment is the Seymour sight. It only brings your concealment down to one. If you're not able to put a concealment boost on, take the sight off. Then we go to the stock, and we have the white stock because it gives more concealment and more stability. And then the upper receiver, very important as well, the LW upper receiver. More accuracy, more stability. If you have all that, you would end up with a magazine clip of 45, total ammo of 60, the rate of fire of 600, a damage of 217.3, accuracy of 84, a stability of 84, and a concealment of 19. That is the car 4. Then we go to the primary and you can switch out between which one you use. I like the Totonka submachine gun because it's just really, really strong and it has a mag massive clip. So let's go over what we have on it. On the barrel extension, we have the bigger, the better suppressor. On boost, we have the concealment, and custom auto fire gadget, the compact laser module, grip, the AK rubber grip, and we have no side at all. If you do everything correct, you should have a magazine size of 79, total ammo of 128, rate of fire of 652, a damage of 108, a curiosity of 64, and a stability of 100, and concealment of 25. That all together will give you 20 detection risk. So now you see why we aced the one skill to get more crit chance. With the melee, I use the buzzer. I like to stun people if possible. Maybe I was reloading and then a dozer comes at me. Or maybe uh, a cloaker. And a cloaker, most of the times, I want to tase him. So I can reload quickly and take him down. Throwable, I like to use the concussion grenade. Because the biggest downside of this build is you have nothing to defeat shields. You have to walk around the shield or make it so that the shield is dazed and moves the shield away from his body so you can shoot him. Which the concussion grenade helps out perfectly with it. Chuck a grenade at him, he's dazed, you are able to shoot him with the car 4 or the Tatonka. The way this build works is that you use one weapon till it pretty much runs out empty and then you switch to the other. I normally start with the Tatonka. And when that hits empty or near empty, I switch to the car 4 and continue on the car 4 to do damage. It sounds like a weird build, but when you play it, you'll know that you do a hell of a lot of damage. Dozers will not stand a chance on Death Wish or one down. You'll take him down without a problem. It doesn't matter which one. The car 4, try using it on Dozers because the car 4 does have more damage than the Tatonka. If you know the Tatonka has a bigger uh, magazine, which means you can take two doses down without reloading. With the car full, it becomes, you know, you, you might make it, you might not make it. And you don't want to be reloading in front of a dozer because you'll go down. So, if you would like to see how this build works, go to my Twitch channel. It will be linked below. I play with it daily. I switch between the other one, the suit shotgun build or as i call this one my smg suit build it works absolutely amazing you need to be very careful with your ammo don't start spraying around and just try to hit everything make sure that every single shot counts and that you take down and think about your ammo if you like it if you use it let me know in the comments below like the video and hopefully i'll see you on my twitch channel Bye bye